All right, so I picked up one of these against my better judgment. <laughs> so let's see what I can do with the uh, Apple Vision Pro version of the Logitech pen. This is the Muse. Uh, the first thing I did was tried out some of the default stuff. There's nothing that really supports it yet. So I went to watch this Dub Dub 25 session exploring spatial accessory input on Vision OS. I was able to um, download uh, one of the apps and compile it. And then here it is. And it's a little wonky. Uh, I would have maybe done it a little bit differently, but here's the thing. So first, when you get this paired up, you don't see anything happening until you get close to the volume. And then this kind of comes in. So I don't know. I would have made this um, be responsive right away so I can see something happening. Because if you're holding it out here, you're like, is it actually working? I can't tell. So if you have to move into the into this volume. Next, uh, it's a little backwards. They, they've they got the uh, the addition. You you don't press the forward facing button as you normally would think you would do. You have to press the back button. And then the problem here is when you try to add clay, it's shooting it out and you're getting a clipping plane. So I would have preferred to maybe have this block of virtual clay a little bit smaller. So that way when you start sculpting because all of us virtual sculptors the first thing we do is we like to add clay and then subtract clay um, in order to do that you have to go and click the front button and then you have to remember to hold it down and actually then and then just like push it into the area and then release so then you get the negative so then again i wish i could be pushing i'm sure this is all like assigning the button clicks but i would have assigned it to the front button instead of the back button um, so now with the back button, I can push the clay in, but see, it's kind of a little, if like, you don't know what you're doing, it might be a little bit backwards because you, you're pushing back through the clipping plane now. Anyhow, you can then click on that front button and you could, now oh, that's another thing, weird thing is like, if you're in the clay, I know this is a sample project, but I would have maybe like, like to have sat down with the developer to say like, here's a couple things you should try to do to make sure this thing works so people aren't confused. All right, you have to go in here and enlarge and then click it and release it and then hold the back button so you can carve in. Um, and I'm actually walking around it. So let's see if I can walk around the full thing here in my office. Like, looks like I can walk around it. Um, let me walk over here. Um, man, this would be great to like, this is like, a good demo project to like now like let's start getting like you know flattened brushes and so i can start you know making bevels and facets and chamfers and stuff but it's interesting i want to have like another some kind of like a thing on my hand or another thing where i can actually click and drag and make the uh sculpting tool larger and smaller based on my dragging um right now i'm also not sensing any haptic so when i click on here i'm not feeling any haptics they mentioned that there was haptics but I'm not, I'm not sensing any haptics. Let's try going super large. Oh, now here's an interesting thing. I'm trying to click on the menu, but guess, guess what? It is <laughs> facing how you started the app. That's another big issue. That menu should be relative to your face. So that's another, and look at that. It's kind of cutting through the border of the volume. So yeah, I know it's a demo, but man, this could have been this could have been done so much better. All right, let me get back over here. Let's make this as large as I can. Okay, so I've already got lots of notes, so hopefully I can team up with someone on the Discord and we can get this thing working to a really good app. Um, yeah, it's it's just, it's just awkward because I never I never go subtracted like this. It's just it's the worst it would work. You kind of want to work additively first, and then it, it's like. It's kind of backwards to how any digital sculptor works. We never work this way. We always start with something and build on top. Um, and then of course, I'm gonna want a way to smooth. So I would have kind of like a shift button to smooth, um, to smooth this out. And I'm assuming this is using voxels or science distance field. It'd be nice to kind of maybe preview um, wireframe to see what my resolution is. I can kind of see it some of the pixeling here. Um, but yeah, it'd be great if we could like smooth this out. 
ideally I want to start with the block of clay a lot smaller so I can punch a hole all the way through yeah I can do that I can't get this any any larger so I'm kind of stuck in that but and it's like the potentials there you have to work with the developer though to have have someone help you get all the controls you want but this is not bad um, yeah and I'm not, like I said I'm not getting any um, haptics I'm not I'm not sensing any any feedback there um again click forward is backwards to me so let's go to back to add and that's not a word thing you have to like tap and release again that's like a, kind of a backwards oh no there's a, do we have an undo i can't remember if we have an undo we have no undo so i kind of wanted to back you know double tap or like i'm thinking like ipad to get out of that but i can't i can't uh, undo so we need an undo so now I can draw in space because I carved all, all that stuff away, but yeah, there's got to be a way to, yeah, like we want to be able to tap and drag left to right to scale up our sculpting tool. God, it's like, okay, so the potential's here. Like we've got, we've got the basics here. I just need to work with someone to get the GUI to work right. Now again, I, I don't know why I'm out of this. That was interesting. That was showing up over, I thought I saw a menu over here. Will it show up based on, it does show up there. Okay, so that's interesting. So if I moved over here, um, but if I click on this, yeah, I'm not seeing the, yeah, the menus is only facing this construction. But that was interesting that this changes based on where I'm at. So that's kind of interesting. That does it on all sides. Let me see if I can save this. I'm curious. I have, now, that's another thing. I would expect this to be like just like a mouse click, but if I'm looking at the menus here, the options, and if I tap, nothing's happening. So I want to be able to access these options like I, I would just expect, but I have to like, and now here's another thing. I can't, if I'm holding the stylus, I can't, it won't recognize unless I'm, <laughs> do something like that. And now if I hit save, I just heard it tap, but I'm not seeing anything. If I hit clear, I'm gonna clear it out. Yeah, oh, oh, what's that? I just got something. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's some interesting, I can't, can I reset? Yeah, I don't know what I just did. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it did kick in. I guess I had it, had to load up, so let me just try. Um, let's do it on. Yeah, let's do it there. We'll just call it exported data and just save it. Can it be open because what? You don't have permission to view it, huh? Why can't I say it's my own thing? Um, let's try it one more time. Save. Let's go to my. USD folder and just try. Now what if I clear and I open, can I open what I just saved? Uh, I don't see it in here, hold on. Date, there we go. Let's see if I can open that up. That would have this 8.4 megs. Hmm. Doesn't want to seem open. Or maybe I have to, I'm doing it too fast. Close that down. Close, that's. One more time. Open, open. There we go. Okay, cool. So maybe I was just doing it too fast or I had to do it the first day, but that's kind of cool. So I have a built-in save and open and I can continue on sculpting. Yeah, I wish I could like pinch and scale now or somehow like while I have this in my hand, I also want to be able to use my pinch to scale this block of virtual clay down. Let me see, I can I can only do, I can see I can't even, I can look like I can't, it won't let me, it doesn't detect when this is my finger. Will that let me do it? Nope. Let's see. 
interesting. I can't make any smaller. Yeah, it kind of snaps back. Yeah, we definitely need some kind of control so I can scale stuff up. Ah, see that's, uh, I don't like the clipping. Um, also, we can we need a way to t uh, to toggle between um, positive and negative. Um, we usually hit the option key to um, we hold option to to go into to carve and then take it off to go additive. So that's another thing is we need some, and this is where we get into the whole discussion of standards for VR controllers. Um, yeah, there's been many years of this discussion using like Oculus Medium that then ended up becoming Substance Modeler, which I love. Um, and I'm using those, the PS, the controllers with buttons. But I'll use this more if I can start getting some better mappings in here. Ah, yeah, this, this clipping, this uh, volume clipping plane is bugging the shit out of me. I hate this. I want to be able to scale this down. Also, why does it go translucent when I'm not even in it? I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Yes, I know it is a demo app, but I expect a little bit more from a demo app. Uh, maybe that's just me. Yeah, you're here over here in space, but you don't see your, <laughs> you don't see the, the tool until I actually go into the volume. That's just wonky. I mean, it's like, I, I hate having to be in a volume. Why can't we just have it be like, you know, full immersive? Maybe it might be a memory issue. That's really, surely not intuitive at all. If you're like, you're sculpting and you want to click on your menu, your menu's hidden inside. All right, anyhow, I'm trying not to be too negative. Uh, I just wanted it to work because basically there's nothing else really available. And I'm not a full blown developer, so I don't program and code, but I'm going to try to see if I can get maybe something working with some uh, vibe coding to see if I can get something set up here. But yeah. See, now this is like, you're all kind of backwards. I'm like, what is going on here? I've just sculpted into like a weird, into a weird mode. Ah, I'm all backwards. Now I'm inside the sculpt. Can I sculpt inside the sculpt? Let me see. Can I, I can't find, here it is. Subtract. Yeah, this is kind of wonky. Ugh. <laughs> I need to sculpt my way out. All right. Much promise. Let's get some stuff together so it's justifying the purchase of this uh, 100, I think it was, it was 125 bucks for the accessory because I want to start using it a lot. And right now, there's really nothing to use with it yet. I tried reusing Cram, but I, it was all wonky. It wasn't working. Yeah, it's got a lot of potential. All right, I'm I'm starting to ramble now. Um, I'm gonna post this, and let's start getting something cool going here. All right.